Hi, welcome to Bigfoot Adventures with Lisa. Today I'm going to be telling a story about a gentleman that was driving his Jeep around in the Ocala National Forest and got stuck and was stranded in the middle of nowhere and had a terrifying Bigfoot encounter. So come with me, let's go check this story out. Welcome to Bigfoot Adventures. Have you ever had a Bigfoot sighting? If you have and you don't want to let anybody know that it was you that saw them or you're afraid to tell your story because you're afraid of you being made fun of, I'd be glad to tell your story for you. All you have to do is email me your story at bigfootadventures411 at gmail.com. Let me know what you want me to say, what you don't want me to say, and I can put your story out there so other people can hear about it without you being identified. I don't want to go out on my own Maybe we could stay and make a home It's written on my heart and in my soul You're the one good thing And I don't think I've ever been so low Cause losing you was worse than losing hope And baby I could never let you go This next story is from November 11th, 2012, and it happened near Altoona, Florida, in the Ocala National Forest. Now I can tell you this, I've traveled to the Altoona area at night, and it is so dark there, it always gave me the creeps. But you know, that's my story. This gentleman, this witness, he was four-wheeling in a remote um, Ocala National Forest area and his Jeep. He had been out there pretty much all day and was just having a blast. And he got in this one remote section where it was really muddy and he got stuck and he couldn't get out. So he was out there for a couple hours waiting for somebody to come along and help him. He didn't hear any other vehicles, nothing. And as he sat out there, he started to worry maybe somebody wouldn't be coming that way. Well, all of a sudden he started hearing this knocking sound, which sounded like somebody with, you know, building something or, you know, hitting something against something. And it sounded like somebody hitting something against a tree. And he began hearing this pretty much constantly. And curiosity got the best of him and he decided to walk towards the sound. So he walked about 300 yards into the forest toward the noise that he was hearing and that's when he saw what he thought was a man in a ghillie suit hitting a large pine tree with a stick that was about three to four inches thick. That's when he realized what he was looking at was way too large to be a man and that ghillie suit was actually hair. He said that, that the this animal was about eight foot tall with reddish brown hair and some gray running through it. He said the chest was massive and the arms very muscular and long compared to a normal human's arms. The torso was long and the legs were short, and it wasn't proportionate. He said the face appeared to be flat, and the, eye, the eyebrows seemed to be protruding slightly, as like a, 
the caveman pictures we've seen. He said he freaked out when he saw this and he started fearing for his own life. And his thought was, I've got to flee. So he starts walking backwards, trying to be very quiet. And he steps on a stick that cracks. And when he sticks, steps on the stick that cracks, this creature turns around and looks at him and makes this grunting sound. And the man is just like, can't believe what he's seeing. And he said, then all of a sudden, the thing turned around and ran. But he said when it ran, it ran like it was gliding. He said it was so smooth and so fast. And it didn't seem like what a man, you know, would be able to do. It was just so smooth and so fast. And he said he literally really made no noise as he ran off. Well, the guy went back to his Jeep and he eventually got out of there, but he was so freaked out by this experience that he actually reached out to the BFRO and told them this story. So I am passing this story along to you. I know myself, I have also seen a Bigfoot in the Ocala National Forest. Um, I do believe that they're out there and I believe that there's family units out there. So I thought this story was really, really interesting and surprising that it ran off. And I don't know, that's pretty scary to me. I wouldn't want to be that close to one all alone in the wilderness. But that's what happened, and that's his story. Thanks for watching. He also noticed when he was leaving the area that there was, like, trees that were snapped off. And also something that looked like a nest, like maybe something was sleeping in that area. Hey, buddy. You're beautiful.